Hey, this is Chris Allingham with the Virtual Wearer Bullet. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to trim a whole slab of spare ribs into St. Louis style spare ribs. St. Louis style spare ribs are simply a whole slab that's had several bits and pieces cut away. And what you're left with is a nice, neat, rectangular slab of ribs that would remind you of loinback ribs. Now there are three reasons why people like to do St. Louis style ribs. One is that from a presentation standpoint, they have a neater appearance. Another reason is that they're easier to eat because you've trimmed away the breastbone and some of the cartilage that connects to the rib bones. And finally, because they're smaller in size, they tend to cook a little bit faster than a whole slab, and you can fit more of them inside your smoker. So let me take you over to the cutting board, and we'll talk a little bit about the anatomy of a whole slab of spare ribs, and then I'll show you how to trim them St. Louis style. This is a whole slab of spare ribs. It's pretty representative of what you'd find at the grocery store or at the wholesale club. This slab weighs about uh, th between three and a half and three and three quarters pounds. Um, the anatomy of this is really easier to see from the back side, so let me flip this over. Um, on the back you can see that there's the, the well-defined rib bones right here in this area, and this is what we're going to keep for the St. Louis style ribs. Above that though, there's this area up here which is a lot of bone and there's some fat, there's also some good meat in here, but this is where the uh, breastbone is, or the sternum. There's a bunch of uh, connective tissue and uh, cartilage in there as well, which we're gonna trim off. There's also this, this thing here called the skirt, and if I fold it up here, you can kind of see it pops up off the back of the spare rib. This is a piece of meat with a piece of the membrane attached on the back side. We're going to trim that flush with the spare rib and remove it as part of the St. Louis style preparation. Then there's also this sort of loose flappy meat here. Some of it on the, the edge and some of it on the end. Um, this is just, you know, good meat to eat, but, you know, imagine, you know, trying to serve that to somebody, right? And it's also very thin at the edge. It can burn. So as part of the St. Louis style preparation, we're going to take that off. So let's start by removing the skirt from the back of the ribs. I'm just going to lift up the skirt and using just an ordinary, you know, 10 inch kitchen knife like you have at home, just make sure it's sharp. Just cut this very close to the ribs, as close as you can. Lifting up and cutting as you go. Just take it down right flush to the ribs. And there's a bunch of fat here at the end. I'm just going to take that off as well. So now it's time to remove the breastbone and the cartilage. Remember, the breastbone is right up here. It's very hard. The rib bones that we're going to keep are right down in here. But in between the two, there's this sort of no man's land right in here. And if you press down with your thumb, you can feel the end of the rib bone right here. And then there's a bit of cartilage under here that connects up into the breastbone. What we want to do is sort of feel with our fingers where those bones end and we want to trim right at that point where the bone meets the cartilage. That'll mean that we're, we're taking away all the cartilage and the breastbone and leaving just the rib bones and the meat attached to them. So I'm just going to feel right in here. And I think this spot right about here is where I want to cut. So I'm going to take my knife and just go right in here and cut straight down. And I'm just going to cut straight across the ribs. Okay? Don't be afraid. <laughs> Just come right straight across like that, okay? So there's our separation. Here's, here's the part we're going to keep and we're going to eat. And here's the breastbone with some of that attached flappy meat. And if you look here, you can see those pieces of cartilage, these little white striations right here. That's the cartilage that we removed. We'll set that aside. Now I'm going to basically just square off the end of this rib. If you feel down here, I can feel there's a bone here, and there's a little bone here, and I think there's a bone right in here, and maybe one right there, and that's sort of the end. So I'm going to just square off right there, remove that piece of meat, and that's basically, you know, our rectangular slab of ribs. Now, a couple more things we have to do. We need to remove the membrane, and we need to take off any extra fat. So I'm going to take a butter knife, I'm going to turn the ribs around this way. And I'm going to count in three or four bones from the end, and I'm just going to take the knife and start it right under the membrane, right on top of the bone, just working it under carefully, kind of shimmying back and forth, just like this. And I'm going to slide all the way through 
to the other side. You see I've gone all the way through the rib. And now I'm just going to work the membrane up toward the end of the slab, get my fingers under there, and just peel that membrane all the way back to the end of the slab. Just like that. And to make this a little easier, I'm going to just take a paper towel and grab hold of that membrane and pull it all the way down to the end of the slab. So, we've removed our membrane from the back of these ribs. Now I'm going to just take my knife and I'm going to just trim off any areas of fat here that I don't want on my ribs. I mean, there's a lot of fat in here anyway, just naturally, but if there's any large surface areas, I'm just going to basically trim those off. Now going over to the front side of the slab, there's a little bit of fat right here, a little bit right here. You could leave that on if you wanted to. I'm just going to take off what I can. I'm not going to be too fussy about it though. I don't want to take off the meat, just the fat. And there's sort of a little false layer right here. There's some fat with some meat in it. There's probably more meat under that. I'm just going to carefully just kind of go in here and try to nick, nick out some of this fat without taking away any of the meat. Just like that. Now, just to clean this up a little bit, there's a little, little edge here that I sort of missed earlier when I cut that. Again, I got a little, a little scrappy guy hanging on here at the very end, right? So I'm just going to clean him off of this side. Somehow I didn't get that from the other side. And again, at this other end, there's a little scrap here. Just take that off. I think there's actually some more fat here that I may just try to take off. Yeah, there's a good amount right there, actually. Now, a lot of that will render off when you cook it, but we'll just take it off right now. And there you go. That's how I would basically prepare a slab of spare ribs. We've got a nice rectangular shape. We've taken the membrane off the back side. That's going to allow some of our rub to penetrate for good flavor. It's also going to make for a more tender rib that'll be easier to eat. Just trim up a few more slabs like that. Put them in your Weber Smoky Mountain cooker. and You'll have some fantastic barbecue, I guarantee. So, one last thing. You may be wondering what to do with all those scraps left over from trimming the ribs. Well, you can simply season those with rub and put them in the smoker alongside the ribs. They'll cook a little bit faster than the ribs, so you have a nice little snack partway through the cooking process. Oh, and if you're going to cook the skirt, you'll want to take the membrane off the back of that before you season it and put it in the smoker. Well, that pretty much wraps up this video on how to prepare pork spare ribs St. Louis style. I hope that you enjoyed it. And I hope it gives you the information and the encouragement that you need to try this yourself. It's not as hard as you think. Get yourself a good sharp kitchen knife, a few slabs of spare ribs, watch this video a couple more times, and you should have no trouble at all. So have fun and good luck.